so we left off in this section in the previous video so we did write about code for this logic here what happens here and all of that is done so but in this video what we're going to do is to actually look at how we can fire up this application and add a simple pop-up and also to actually have a simple way of finding if the answer that we entered is correct or wrong so the application is going to be completing towards the end of this video and so i'll try to make it as quick as possible let's jump straight into this uh, logic here so what we have so far is to actually just pass an instance to the callback method whenever a button is clicked but what we need actually is to have also the url to be passed so that we can use the url fetch the answer and check if the user's clicked answer is correct and matching with the correct answer so that's going to be the whole logic so what we can do instance uh, here is that in order to pass a value to to the bind method this is also only going to be passing the instance of the button that is going to be bound to to that so we cannot actually externally pass a method or you can externally pass a variable or anything of that sort directly inside our bind method so what is the mistake that you will do if you try to do it is that if you directly going to add here like a url here right it's not going to work it's actually it's going to throw an error what we have to do instead is to make use of the lambda function i'll just write a simple statement here and you will be a little bit confused if you aren't really comfortable with python but i'll explain to you guys what is happening so what we can do here is that we can actually write a button callback this is actually a simple variable and we are going to say hold a simple instance of a nameless function so lambda is nothing but a nameless function for us for now you can take it that as a crude uh, uh, answer it's a nameless function which is going to take an argument of args which means that it could take any argument and it will return the simple answer what is that method okay answer callback with our url followed by the args which is nothing but here our instance so what we are trying to do is that we're trying to say so what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to say whatever method you're going to pass here is going to take two variables now so two variables in the sense two parameters one is going to be the instance which in our example will become star args and previous to that we'll also be passing the url so this is actually now mimicked here so if you want if you're interested to write this lambda function into a simple method you could talk about partial so there's a partial something like called partials in func tools in with python if you're interested you can take a look at that but this is a very simple way of writing or passing arguments or multiple arguments to a simple bounded button call method so on press instead of passing the answer callback we'll be passing the you just call the button callback method similarly for uh, this as well and voila we are done so now the logic is to look at actually answering uh, our simple method so in, instead of instance you can still have it instance instead of args so that's going to be the way so instead of it will still say instance of text is going to be printed and now we have the handle for url and what we can do is now to add the logic for our code to check if it's the correct answer or wrong answer it's very simple again just say uh, self dot url answer deck dot get will get the value and we will do of zero because we know that it's always going to be correct answer come wrong answer is the way it's going to be stored in our db so we just say of zero is equal to equal to instance dot text if this is the this is the case that means that whatever user has clicked is the correct answer so we'll just print it here it's a correct answer else we'll print it wrong answer all right for now this is should be fine we'll run this application and to see if whatever we are expecting is actually appearing just click so that we're trying to click the correct answer we'll click the correct answer awesome now it is saying that the user's button click was airplane and the answer was correct awesome right the first section is completed now time to look at how to show a simple pop-up to the user and that's also possible through a widget called as pop-up in a kiwi it's actually a simple widget to use we'll again use a simple method we'll just say show pop-up 
method and we'll just write a simple logic here uh, what does a pop-up method require so it's going to require two important things by default it's going to take a title if you don't give a title it'll come as no title so we can't control that additionally it's going to take a parameter called as content and this content is very very important because you can give us whatever content we want to give to so this content should always have a layout as its base so without a layout you cannot like create directly throw a content to it so what we have to do is to actually create a simple layout and the most important or most simple most simple layout is actually the grid layout so without any uh, complexity we just give the calls as one and padding as 10 or 20 whatever so we'll just give this the layout and to this layout we'll also add the simple label and that will say uh, correct answer or wrong answer it's going to say correct or wrong we'll come to this in, in a minute so we need to show the users the correct or wrong right so what we can do is actually add a simple boolean flag and you can say correct uh, correct if it's correct it will be passed as true if it's not correct answer it will be passed as false so using that logic we can just do a simple if else block here i'll write a simple shorthand for that as well uh, label is equal to we can do label of correct text is equal to correct if correct meaning that it's a shorthand if the answer is correct it's going to be going as correct else we will put it as text is equal to wrong answer and our if you are looking to have a simple um, scoring logic your logic would come somewhere around here this is just going to be a module for showing the pop-up now we'll just directly add the pop-up here and how so this will first create the layout here so the layout is created how do you show the pop-up the pop-up is going to be taken into a simple variable and before that we need to actually import that so we'll do kv.uix.popup import pop-up and come here and call the class pop up off class is going to be the capital p remember that all right so the the pop-up method as usual is you go in and see it's going to be laughing a lot of stuff so title is going to be always loaded to a no title which if you re re really don't want to just override it to an empty one uh, so that it's not going to look so glaring on your eyes the next one is obviously going to be the content which you need to give right the content that you need to give is going to be the layout so we just pass the layout and it should be add widget not just add just mistake that add widget so you're gonna add it to like a grid layout and just just a simple one and as you can go ahead and see so the content it's going to be an object property so it should be usually an a object of a uh, layout and that's also done also other things that you can do is to set the size i'll set the size to maybe 150 comma 150 and that is also available here if you go ahead and search for size you can see that size is present size and size hint is present so i'll just give a size for now and uh, for my session yep so size is going to be done also and hopefully everything is done mm -mm. okay i need to come here okay this is my code so size is done so one more attribute that i also can add is to have a like auto dismiss method where users can click the outside of the pop-up and it'll automatically dismiss which is also a, a, a reasonable way of adding it here so we'll search for auto dismiss so that's going to be another parameter that's going to be present so dismiss is here just pass it so by default it's false so we'll just pass it as true awesome so this is done now all we need to do is just call pop-up dot open and our method is obviously going to show the pop-up but you need to show the pop-up yet right so you need to call this method that is possible just add another flag correct is equal to true and it will just pass it to this so correct is equal to false and we can show that before the method is fired cell dot show pop-up and correct awesome all right so that's done so we are technically completing the application here just show close it and run we'll have the application no time so there's another thing that you can also do it might take some time to load your image let's click showing me the entire size of the screen oh my god i didn't expect it to show this big um, maybe i should have controlled it let me control it 
by changing the size of the pop-up awesome so what i did was to actually change the size of this to 400 and also added the size hint um okay so something i saw was hopefully okay this is fine for me now so it's obviously showing so that's the thing so property was to add also the size hint because what happens is the size hint by default sets it to the size of the uh, the entire base layout which is the in the, our example our grid layout so it's automatically setting to the full size of the screen you can control it by uh, giving both the size as well as the size hint and we actually control that portion here and that's how i showed the pop-up so that's it so we have showed the video i mean we have shown the correct answer wrong answer stuff if if required you can answer simple logic for adding your scores here and you can also append the score somewhere here and finally if the, when all these things complete you can show the score to the user so that's going to be the whole that's that's the entire application here so we complete the application it's a very simple application nothing complex here so it would some, look something like this if you are running it in a say for example a, a mobile application it's something like this automatically as, as you can see it's automatically size is becoming smaller and bigger so baboon it's correctly showing for us and that's a really good application as well if you try and play with it as much as you want to so next video we are going to be loading this application our kiwi application into an android emulator i'll show you guys the steps to do that what are the tools required to do that and we'll complete the entire series there if you required also you can learn more about the dot kv notation uh, language and dot kv notation kiwi tutorial i'm also going to be posting some videos on that make sure to check that out as well uh, if you want to as always the code for this video is also going to be present in my official uh, website so check that out link in the description let me meet you next video until then peace out have a super